everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to be starting the Marvel art series that I talked about in the previous announcement and today's painting is going to be Harley Quinn um, if you guys want to see how I painted this painting then please continue to watch the video it's going to be a three to four part art series um, this video we're going to be covering the underpainting process. So if you want to see how I made this painting, then please continue to watch the video. If you want to see the other videos and how I go about this process, then please hit the bell notifications. And then every time that I post a new video, you'll get to see it and you'll know right away that it's up and uploaded. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so here we go. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is putting an entire application of ivory black mixed with some ultramarine blue and liquid original. I do this just to have a nice basic mint tone over the entire canvas. And I wanted to show you this picture here on the left. This was the reference that I used to get the the light source for this painting. I just really like this pose, so it was my inspiration. I got this from a website called Figurosity. If you haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend that you check out their website. This is not sponsored or anything. I just found it very helpful. It has tons of different poses, and you know it's great for getting these light sources in the figure of the body. So I would highly recommend that you check out their website. I just recently found it and I think it's amazing. So I'm putting the entire coat over the canvas. I'm going to smooth it out with a paper towel just to get it nice and even. And then I'm going to move on to, to using a Q-tip. So I'm using this Q-tip to start pulling out some of the colors that I put on there. Now Harley, she is wearing a Jester costume. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm getting the right highlights and low lights and mid-tones and darks to really make that costume come to life. Um, she is, you know, she's so full of personality that I wanted to try to capture that in this painting. Um, I'm, you know, in, in this painting that I'm doing for somebody, I kind of want her to have that like sneaky look, like maybe she's getting ready to do something to this other person in this painting. You know, she's got her finger up on this microphone just kind of has that little deceitful, like I might be getting ready to do something to you, but you just don't know it. Um, and, and I really hope that I capture that with this painting. But anyway, so I'm making sure that I'm just paying attention to those highlights and lowlights and that reference photo that I showed you while ago is great for that. So I'm making sure that I get enough of those highlights. I'm kind of having a hard time here distinguishing between the background and those highlights. So in a few minutes you'll see me. I'll actually put some more dark behind there, but first I'm going to try and put in some of those darks. I added a little bit more of the black and the ivory just to thicken up the paint a little bit so it wasn't so runny. It'll give me a more concentrated color. And I'm going to start putting in the darks that I see by using that reference photo. And I'm just working my way around the body, you know, going back and forth between the, the mid-tones, the lights, and the darks. This painting is a 9 by 12 so it actually didn't take too long to do the underpainting process for this one. And since the light source is coming from the right, I want to make sure that I keep that, that right side of Harley, which I guess is actually her left side, bright and making sure that I get those darks dark enough. Now here's where I was like, oh, I'm kind of having a hard time distinguishing between, you know, Harley and the background and I want to make sure that those lights are light, light enough. So I put a little bit of dark behind there just so I can, you know, distinguish where that is when I start adding in the color layer. Now that's all that I'm going to be doing for the underpainting. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. It's going to be a good map for me to follow as I start putting in those color layers. Um, please continue to watch with the next video that will be up in the next week or two. Um, and until then, I will see you in the next video, guys.